comes to history, there's some things we just don't want to pay attention to because it hurts. Like, you know, being bent over and plowed with a red hot poker. But damn it, those are the things you got to know about so they don't happen again, especially to our kids and their kids down the line. We're all aware, at least you and I are, of how our ancestors subdued the indigenous population here in America and how we used to put black people in chains and make them pick our cotton. Why, you might even be a historian and know all about how we recruited Nazis after World War II to live and play right here in America. Might be you've heard about the Tuskegee experiments, but have you heard about our government experimenting with LSD and mind control? There are things we know and talk about, things we ain't afraid to talk about in public. Unlike the forced sterilization of Native American women, something not argued about, much less talked about. You know, a skeleton in our closet. In 1970, the Family Planning Act was passed. The intent of the act was to provide house services to poor people, like Native Americans, who had yet to figure out how to build casinos and make a couple of bucks. What was in that law that gave doctors or whoever the right to sterilize poor women? I'm not exactly sure, but they did. And of course, they never told the women what they were doing. The law was on the books for seven years and also targeted black and Latino women as well. Then again, no matter what your thoughts are on forced sterilization, and they ought to be thoughts of disgust, giving birth to a baby with no bones and transparent skin should scare the hell out of you. These children, known as jellyfish babies, are the result of our military experimenting with atomic bombs in the Marshall Islands. Islands that have the world's greatest rates of cancer, where we, the mighty U.S. military, offers protection, but not one damn oncologist. You know, doctors that specialize in cancer? And it's a bit embarrassing that it took us until 2021 to formalize a congressional apology for all the harm the radiation might have caused. And I'm thinking, it'll probably be another hundred years before we recognize the harm all the radiation did on the American soldiers. They had to clean up all that radiated shit. And all this shit with babies is just wrong. I'm telling you, wrong. Of course, there's always the argument that nobody could have guessed radiation would cause deformed babies, but the search for knowledge, like how to control a person's thoughts and his behavior, was the goal of MK Ultra. When I heard about MK Ultra way back when, I thought it was some kind of outlandish conspiracy theory. But again, I was flat out wrong, because MK Ultra was a thing, a big thing done and organized by our own esteemed CIA. One of the spook's favorite dirty tricks was to slip an unsuspecting individual a shitload of LSD, just for shits and giggles, and to see how they responded to certain stimuli. The super-secret spy agency also employed tactics such as electric shock therapy, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, and of course, physical and sexual abuse, all on American and Canadian citizens. The truth is, time doesn't pass without some wrong being committed, some mistake in judgment being made, and the sorry fact is that acknowledging the mistake or the wrong doesn't diminish the harm that was done. Innocent civilian deaths in our war against terrorism is an accepted wrong. Hurtful, yes, but it's a pain of necessity, according to those in power. Unless your name is Fred Hampton, and the city of Chicago just wanted you gone, which means it ain't just the feds that fuck with us. The states and some cities do as well. But that's another video. History, my friends, is a harsh, harsh taskmaster. And I sometimes wonder if it's too harsh because you know we sometimes just seem like we never learn from our history that's a little bit disturbing oh but a lot of times you know we do wrong to others like maybe with the jellyfish babies because we're ignorant we're just not aware of the harm 
But after the first one was born, I think he'd start questioning. But maybe not. What What do I know? I don't know. I I'll just go back to to to. You know. We do learn from history to one extent, and then there's a whole nother extent where we just, for some reason, we don't learn from history. It's like war. I mean, war is pervasive in human history. It's destructive. It doesn't do anybody any good, except for a very, very few people. And we all lose, but we keep fighting. Well, I don't know. I'm going to do a shot and sign off. This was a fun video, though. These kind of videos are always fun. I do enjoy them. Peace out. I'm out of here, people. Love you.